Hi, beauties and girls. Welcome back for another video. We are doing Everyday May. If this is your first time, I'm Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in. Smash the subscribe button. You're going to have a lot of fun here. We are doing a video every day in the month of May for Everyday May. I do have a playlist that I'll link over here, but today's video is trying some new makeup and some oldies. We are doing oldies at newbies and oldies okay and then i'm going to give you an overview of what i liked that i have here on my face so if you're interested in this video then keep watching hi guys so i have not done a get ready with me in a minute so we are about to do that i know my hair is not all the way done but i want to try some new makeup so i actually did my everyday makeup drawer and I put a lot of new makeup in here so I am going to start off with that I am going to I already put my moisturizer and everything on and I used my roller from um, from the body shop that I got but this is the urban decay self-adjusting complexion primer and I'm just gonna take a pump I've used this before and so far I do like it because it's supposed to be self adjusting. I am, I've done blushes, decluttered blushes, by the way, that's what I'm talking about. Decluttered blushes, I've decluttered um, blushes. What else have I decluttered? Bronzers foundations which I think I'm going to do some more foundations I'm just trying to get through some I need to do concealers that's what I need to do like I'm trying to do it like as I feel deemed to do so so and then I think I'm gonna show you guys some non like unusual beauty favorites or beauty tools and some random stuff I need to show you guys my favorite oils, my favorite lipsticks, lip glosses, lip pencils. I think it's time for me to do that. I'm going to use a different color corrector today. This is the Tarte. Um, this is the Color Clay CC Corrector. So I think it has two shades in here. Oh, that's a brightener one. Okay, this is the color correcting one. And I have a brush that goes with this, which I probably need to use. Oh, that brightened it up. And this is in the shade medium. So, I still think I want to go kind of light today. Of course, this is going to be every makeup, everyday makeup. And I can feel that primer smoothing. I actually really like it, especially under my eyes. It really smooth under my eyes. Ooh, I like it. I've been watching a lot of clean with me videos because it's really been helping me like get in a routine, y'all. You know, before I think being in college, I was not in a routine of cleaning, but now because I manage a house, I think that's what wives do. You know, we manage. I want to do something really quick. And the other day, my makeup came out really good and I really liked it. So, did I put foundations in here? I don't think I put foundations in here. Okay, but um, let's talk about, I have the Sunday Riley. I got a sample. I've tried it a couple of times and I'm gonna tell you, I'm glad that I didn't buy it. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm glad that I did not buy it. And it's because of, I don't know. Well, I used it and I'm gonna be honest. I've also tried the Lancome Skin Feels Good foundation. I really like that. And to me, that that one is better than this. And that's the reason why I like don't like it. I need some with a mirror. Okay, I'm using one of my Makeup Forever palettes. This is not the palette I'm gonna use today though. I think I'm gonna use the Persona palette today. But this is in the shade 220. It's a bit light. 
it's okay, but it's not anything significantly crazy, great about it. If you want a, something lightweight that with some benefits, then I do recommend it, but it's not anything special. It's not like Sunday Riley Luna oil was, is magic. To me, you don't get magic with this. It's like, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. That's all I'm saying. And I've tried like this a couple of times. And I really, you know, I'm kind of over, I need to invest in my products. So I'm kind of like over just getting stuff just to get it. Um, see, that's a bit like, but using bronzer really will blend that out. But yeah, that's the Sunday Riley influencer foundation i feel like this is more like a bb cream to be honest with you it just it's like super lightweight that's how it looks i've been trying it a couple of times and like i said it's okay are y'all ready for this i like the cc cream by it cosmetics better it's nice but I also feel like with the CC cream, I don't have to set it. I feel like with this one, I need to set with the powder. You know what I mean? So yeah, there you go. Gonna use the Sephora. Y'all haven't seen me use this. This is an Eclair. This is the Bright Future concealer. I think I need a lighter shade. This one is very yellow and it's very liquidy. I'm just going to use that much there. It's very pigmented. I mean, that's a good thing. And I do like the applicator on here because I feel like even when I flip it, I get a lot of product. And it gets right in the corner, you know what I mean? Like right in the corner of places that you think you couldn't. This kind of have a peach tint to it. I bet you I could have used this as a color correction. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and I'm uh, not gonna do my brows. Yeah, I'll do my brows. I'm gonna use the dip brow today. I'm gonna try this brush today. Might be a mistake, but we're gonna try it. And then let's go in with a beauty blender. I have tried this concealer like two or three times and I do like it. I have my spring haul coming up because I have not shown you guys what I have a luxury haul I think I'm gonna separate it I have a luxury haul and I also have my spring haul which both of them are the same but I want I have enough of luxury items that I want to separate them because I want to come back and do a haul report I'm gonna do a haul report on both of them but if it's worth the money you know That's nice. Okay. Now, what I have been doing is just taking a brush like this and going into my powder and just setting it. Take some of my Patrick powder and just dust it in the corner and set it. Which I really, I do like this powder. And so I'm just taking it I'm gonna set my lid too, since I do tend to put concealer there. Primer is kind of like, when I'm gonna wear eyeshadow, I don't I do this. And then because I'm going to use bronzer today, this is, a, I feel like it's kind of mattifying, so I don't, want to use that all over the face 
I am going to use a little bit of my mineralized skin finish all over my face though. I want to use this up. The places where I am going to put bronzer, I just feel like it's a lot, it's a lot smoother if I do it this way. And this is my Makeup Forever Dual Fiber Brush. Like I said, I do feel like I need to, I need to finish this brow. That's what I need to do. Let me finish this brow so I won't look crazy. Cool thing about the damp brow is that it's not as easy to get off. It's one of those things that lasts throughout the day. So that's what I really appreciate about it. Got some in my hair. I do feel like, you know, you need extra co coverage with the influencer. I don't know. I've seen people really like it. It's okay. I mean, I guess it's a big thing because Sunday Riley is coming out with it. But if I were to do like a Sunday Riley haul, this is probably not a product that I would pick up. It would be the Luna Oil, the Good Jeans. I would stick to the skincare part. But, I mean, for it to be their first one, I feel like that the shade range is kind of off because this one is okay. You saw that it, it's light and we're going to balance it off. It it comes off a little pink as well. And um, I kind of been doing kind of like the textured look. doing it to a point where it doesn't look perfect but the Patrick powder I really like oh this is something that I have really been liking I have not been um, I'll use this today because I don't have to use a I feel like I don't have to use a highlighter or like if I did not want to go with bronzer I could just use this and this is such an underrated blush. It lasted all day the other day. And I have worn this a couple of times. This is the Tarte Colored Clay Bronzer Blush in Park Avenue Princess Peach Bronze. And it has that mosaic look like that. And if I just wanted to walk out the door, this is a walk out the door type of product where if I did not want to wear any bronzer, but that means my foundation has the match to a T. We wearing some bronzer today because it doesn't. But look at that. It's so pretty. And it has like a highlighted sheen. Like I can even bring it up on the cheekbone. But I love the way this looks. Totally could wear this by itself. I really like this a lot. I have been back in love with my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil. By the way, this is the NYX number two brush. I really like it because it has like a flat angle. Definitely we need to put some up here because this hairline is looking kind of crazy. I'm going to have to try Makeup Shayla's way of contouring because I really like how she gave some steps that a lot of, I feel like what makes her channel different is that she takes the time to tell you those steps that a lot of makeup artists forget to tell you you know everybody is different here on youtube that's why it's so awesome that everybody you know everybody has a space here and she really thrives in that i'm really proud of her yes i did get the palette i am gonna do a review oh that's pretty that's black radiance that's a 
baked highlighter that I just put on. And this is the Japanese uh, brush that's a dupe to the I feel like just putting this on my eyes and calling it a day and just going and doing a glow. But I do really want to try that Persona palette. So we're going to do an everyday look with this palette. Go in with the fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. But I am going to go into, uh, I'm going to go in with Humble first. And just put that all of the, I'm going to use the brush with some stuff. This one is a pretty like neutral with a pink undertone. Very smooth. This is my first time actually using this palette, by the way. The next product, you know what? I'm so glad that she has like a this peanut butter shade in here because I feel like a lot of palettes miss that shade. That's like, it's a warm tone transition. And I think Maverick is something that everybody kind of puts into their palette, but the Charming is definitely a one that people tend to forget. And I like it. It's that peanut butter, almost like camel shade. It looks like a uh, camel. It reminds me of Camel by Bobbi Brown, which I want to get that single. It's only a few eyeshadows that I actually want to purchase the single. And that's one of them because it, it duels as so many things. But I'm really liking this. I like how these blend, by the way so far okay same brush I'm just gonna take it smudge it and go under doing everyday makeup you can use the same brush this is when you don't have time like me I'm using one brush and my fingers I'm going to go into seductive and pop that on the inner corner and I think I'm gonna pop it on the lid just a little bit yeah it's very smooth like this is no fix plus I really like what I'm seeing that is like no fix plus Hello. I'm gonna blend one more time. I like to blend just the top. I like that a lot. Okay, I see you, Persona. Loving it. Um, don't have time for liner, so I am going to line my eyes with this. And I'm going to take Fearless. Put it in that corner. Like literally I am tapping ever so slightly. That is so pretty. Okay, now I spray my face before I put on my mascara. So I'm going to use the rest of this L'Oreal Infallible. People don't talk about this anymore, but this is still a really good... It reminds me of the Urban Decay, slightly. But it also fuses those powders together. Let's use this matte shaker. This is in Nude, Nude Devotion. Oh, that's pretty. It smells good too. Just a, like a slight oh, lip, I mean nude lip, and I'm gonna use my Essence Princess Lash. I really like this mascara. Got a nice glow going on. 
I underestimated that black radiance. Look at that. For some reason, I only want to do mascara on my top lashes. Okay. Just something different. Just something different. Switch up your makeup. Just do something a little bit different. Doesn't have to be something daring. Just a little bit different. I really like my lips. They look really natural with that um, matte shaker. Okay, so um, still love this. Like, okay, let's talk about favorites of what I put on my face. Influencer, meh. Really like the Park Avenue Princess Peach Bronze by Tarte. I like that color corrector too. Persona palette. Um, this. I pretty much liked everything. I actually like this primer too. And I, this is a really good, uh, it's adapting soft focus effect con control shine. I don't know about the control shine. I really don't care about that. But I guess around my nose, I want that. So I liked everything really except the, the foundation. The Sunday Riley is just me. Uh, it, it's a, I mean, it, it's a good, it's a good foundation, but I have better. Like that's the first thing that I thought about. Was that mm, I have something better? I don't really. But if this is your first time, if you want something with some skincare benefits, I would recommend that because um, I re recommend that. I would rec recommend UA. That's the, the kind of lines that it reminds me of. So I guess it's. It's all a need is already filled in my makeup collection. If you don't have that in your makeup collection, then that's something maybe you want to consider. But I do feel like the Lancome Skin Feels Good is better and it gives you a little bit more coverage. That's just me, but um, that's just how I feel about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me. I'm gonna finish off my hair. I have all my earrings. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to finish off my hair and head off. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in another day of Everyday May. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.